Okay, I don't know if anyone out there knows what empathy is. It's pretty hard to deal with. And it's like when you actually feel what another person is going through. And I'm completely doing that right now with my brother Mark. And it's completely not by choice. But last weekend was Give this your big- gear, Hope. We're leaving in two minutes. Okay, I'm coming! <sighs> last weekend was the Labor Day celebration of, like, well, Labor Day, which is supposed to be a day of celebration. And, like, we go to this neighborhood thing at this park, which is totally not a park. It's, like, this area between, like, three houses. And they put up a sign and call it a park, whatever. Our family has always been, you know, like, pretty good at badminton. We're not, like, on a league but we've won ribbons and whatever, <laughs> whatever. But like, I didn't feel right this year playing because of all the bird flu and death. Cause like my family uses the iMark X12 4.73 long tip shuttlecocks. Those are made with real feathers. I just don't think it's right to use something with real feathers when people are dying from things with real feathers. <laughs> but I don't know, like a lot of people probably don't make that connection. So Mark and dad were up like 196 and Leroy Erdman, who's like my age, but he smokes cigars. So like, I don't know, like he's trying to be something. I don't know. But like, he said that he was just returning the birdie to my brother so that he could serve, but he totally smashed it like he was Simon Archer. This hit Mark right near his ear. And the doctor at the hospital seriously said that he could have up to 3% hearing loss in that ear. And it's that kind of thing that really makes you think. I can totally understand what it would feel like to not be able to. Everybody's in the car, Hope. Time to bamboo. Okay, I'm coming. Okay, I'm back. Mark almost dies and we go to the Pizza Pirate. And Brad Hess was totally working and he's absolutely best friends with Leroy. That was a really hard meal. I really appreciate you guys who write to me. It's weeks like this that I really need advice on, like, how to deal with everything. Okay, this is from Eric. Do not despair. Everything can be fixed with ice cream. Greetings, Eric. Thanks, Eric. But I think I'll just go mark off two square feet in my backyard and call it a park.